Hello, this is Mushi. Um, if you're on the Splat, the Splatfest server, you've probably heard of Land Plague a couple of times because we're all about Land Plague. But um, you probably don't know how to set it up. You might, but um, you might not know how to set it up, what the risks are, which there are no risks, by the way, and uh, how to, just how to do it in general, what you need, and all that type of stuff. And so. In this video, I'm going to actually show you what you actually have to do, and this is going to be a video video tutorial rather than a written one, because I know the written one uh, can be kind of confusing, not really because there are screenshots, but um, it can be a bit confusing, and I understand why someone would get confused. So, first, thing, first things first, you'll need a switch, obviously, you'll need Wi-Fi, and you'll need a computer. Um, I don't know how to set this up on a Mac, a MacBook or something like that, but I do know how to set it up on a Windows 10, so I'm going to be showing you how to set it up on a Windows 10 rather than, um, Linux or those other, uh, computer OS's, but I'm sure if you go on the website, there will be some, uh, written tutorials on how to do it on those OS's. I will put the link for those in the description as well. So first things first, you'll need to uh, go on your computer. I'm going to be using this MacBook. Um, I'm going to be doing, well, I'm, this, I'm only using this MacBook, this MacBook because it's the only computer I have um, to access right now, but I'm not actually going to be using this. I have LAN already set up downstairs on my computer I just can't access it right now because uh, my brother's using it but um, so I'm just gonna be showing you what you have to do on this MacBook although it's not gonna work on a MacBook or Mac because um, the MacBook has a different setup also this is an old MacBook so it won't even work on this in the first place you're gonna wanna you're gonna want to go on to Google Chrome or Safari well not Safari because that's only for MacBooks, but um, go on some sort of internet explorer browser or whatever. This computer is going to take me a while to load Google Chrome, so I'm going to skip it for you. Alright, so my computer, as you can see in the corner, is not very fast. So I'm going to show you how to do it on um, a phone. So, you go to this website, it's in the link, uh, it's in the description, the link's in the, the description, as usual. Um, land play, but it'll take you to uh, switch install, so go to switch install. And we're going to start with the computer configuration, we'll do the switch stuff later. Um, the computer stuff. So first you'll need to find, you'll need to install WinPCAT. So, just click on the link, and it'll say, do you want to download WinPCAT? You just download it. I'm going to download it anyways, but this is a phone. Obviously, it's not going to work on a phone, but I can download it, and then once I download it, I can run it. So, it's obviously not going to work because this is a phone, but you're just going to run it. It's gonna say finish. You're gonna say you're gonna click continue until it says finish, and then obviously it's gonna work from there. So once you have WinPCAT installed, then you're just going to download this uh, right here. It says uh, LAN play win66.exe. So you're gonna download it. I'm not sure if it's downloading. So you're just going to run it as admin on your computer, and then you're going to put in a server name. So I'm going to be testing with loaded, loaded loser, and that's just his name on admin, I'm fine with that, um, and Zira from the channel, or from, yeah, from the Splatoon channel, and uh, we're using the, the server name joinsg.net. 
So let's say you just type, um, so for example, the server that we're using is, where is it? Right here. So you're just going to type this, or if you're using a different server, you're just going to type whatever that is, right? So another famous one is Fox Games. You can see a ton of servers come here. Actually, go to the home page, and you'll see a bunch of servers here. And you'll see the ping also. Look at the ping column, third column, and you'll see which ones will work the best for you. So just look for the lowest ping, and you'll see join SG is pretty low here, 104, which is not bad. Um, so it's a good server to, to use right now, not all the time. Um, and so that's basically all you have to do on your computer. Next, you'll have to get your switch, which you're going to want to go into settings go to internet and go to internet settings once you're in here just wait for it to load you want to go to your wi-fi your name then your wi-fi um you just click it and i don't know if i should blur it out one second just so you don't see it as well because i don't want my ip address or whatever leaked um but and also so you can see the stuff on the website here as well so in the middle of the screen you can see it and you just going to click change settings so the second option and you're going to want to well i already have it set up but you're going to want to change ip address setting to manual as well as dns settings but it will automatically go to manual i think um so if you look here on the website it'll say change IP address settings, so change the IP address to 10.13.xx.x or dot x, sorry, dot xx dot yy. So that means uh, change it to, to 10 dot 13 dot any number and then dot any, any number. It says up here though, it cannot be, it can, it can only be from zero, so right here it says, uh, 10.13.0.1 to 10.13.2.55, sorry, 0.255.254, except this number. So just think of any random number, really, it doesn't matter that much. Um, once you have that IP address set up, you're going to want to change the subnet mask right under IP address, change it to 255.255.0.0. And change the gateway to 10.13.37.1. Then change the primary DNS to one to 163.172.141.219. Then change the secondary DNS to 207.246.121.77. Mouthful. Uh -huh. But yeah. That's all you have to do on your switch. Then you just want to click save. And then you want to connect to the network. While the computer application is on the LAN play exe, you're going to click connect to this network. And on your computer screen, it'll show you a message saying, a message saying um, connected to internet and then connected to Wi-Fi or something like that. And so that's how you know it worked. Then you're going to want to go into any game and i'll show you if you go to switch games you'll see here switch games so games with land land mode already so arms bayonetta 2 mario and sonic mario Kart 8 deluxe mario tennis pokemon tournament pokemon shield sword and splatoon 2 are the main ones really um the other ones you need to actually hack your switch so if you want to be safe with land play i would recommend using one of these games um, so you actually have to hack your switch in order to play these other games. And don't worry, this is actually really uh, safe. There's literally no way to get banned by using LAN play because it's literally, for these games, for Splatoon, Mario Tennis, and all these games, it's literally built in. So there's, there would be no reason for them to ban you. Um, and these games, however, it is possible because obviously it's not built in. You're pushing it in, but you have to hack to do that anyways. Um, so that's, those are the only games that you can hack. So, as you can see in the middle of the screen, 
have Splatoon 2 on here. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna start from the beginning. Actually, I'm gonna show you how to do it on Mario Kart. All right. So Mario Kart put it up here. So I'm just gonna click L and R. And the easy thing about Mario Kart is whether your your Joy-Con is on the right, like it's tilted to the left or right or whatever. All you have to do is push down the and look at look at wireless play. I'm gonna push down this this button, push that down, and then push down L and R. All of those three at the same time, and watch what happens. It changes from wireless to land, back and forth. Right? Whether the whatever way it is, as long as I press it down, it works. The annoying thing is when you play Splatoon. And let me show you that. So, just got my jerk, my jerk ons here. I'm gonna click ZR and ZL. And I'm gonna click X and go to the show. Now it says preparing local play. This is the annoying part. You have to click the same thing with Mario Kart. Um, R, L, and this thing. But you have to keep the stick still. You can't move it around while you're clicking it down, which is the annoying part. If I get lucky, it'll work. It didn't work. Okay, and it, it might work if you try multiple amount of times. But the thing that I like to do is I like to remap the buttons. So I make I made the left button. I change that to be the clicking down button. So watch if I click this button and to remap. By the way, if you go to settings, controllers and sensors, change button mapping, change. And so you can see I changed the left button to the clicking down button. So all I have to do now is hold this and L and R and watch what happens. Nothing. Okay, one second. <laughs> hmm. I don't know why nothing is happening. Maybe maybe I already have it on. Okay, my hand is on hold. One second. Okay, it's literally not working. One second, you guys missed it. I was too late. I have to do it again now. My controller was just lagging. Um, so I have to do this again. Go to the show. Wait for it to load. Local play. And I have to try again. Please work. Please work. You may have to hold it down for a bit, actually. This thing really does not want to work today. It usually works perfectly when I remap the buttons. There is a hack to change local play to land play. But obviously most people can't do that because you actually have to hack your switch. So this is like something you can do whether you have your, hack, your switch hacked or not. There it is. All right. So I just had to hold it down for a while. You saw I said preparing land play. Okay, now I'm gonna click find room. And hopefully they're hosting. They might not be. Yeah, they're not hosting. Let me ask them. Okay, so now you can see. Let's click find room. Zero but band. There. I'm running out of space on my phone to record this, so I might end it.
right now. And you can see, you can ready up and change your weapons and do whatever crap you want to. Alright. And here we are. In game. Right? So. So I'm playing with Zero from the server. On land play. So there you go. That's how you do land. And look, it's pretty smooth actually. Depending on your server, it'll be super fast. And yes, the baby. But yeah, it is really, really just amazing that this actually exists. I think. That's all. Thank you all for watching.